Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at day three of my Diodostini X-Wing build. Fire, coming in point three. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you love Star Wars, know that I love Star Wars too. I love Star Wars and I've uh, been a Star Wars fan since the very beginning. And then when you come to this channel and you watch these videos, just know that I'm never gonna hate on anything, bag on anything. It doesn't matter if it's a director, or an actor, or a product line. I love Star Wars. You put Star Wars on something, I love it. That's, that's all you really gotta do. And so uh, this channel is just my journey uh, through toy collecting, video games, going to Star Wars Celebration. Oh my goodness, I hope Star Wars Celebration is still on, right? So far they have not canceled it. They've been canceling a lot of other things. I had tickets to a local uh, Texas Magic convention, and that got canceled. And uh, luckily, that's the only thing I had tickets. Well, I had tickets for like uh, musicals and things like that that, of course, got canceled. But uh, still crossing my fingers for Star Wars Celebration because it's going to be a big one in California in Anaheim. I was going to take my wife and hopefully, you know, spend some time at Disneyland as well. So really, crossing our fingers for coronavirus. Hopefully, it goes away. And if you're watching this, and of course coronavirus has passed, this is filmed during this time. And so obviously our thoughts and prayers are with everybody that's walking through that right now. And of course our hearts are broken for all the medical professionals and, and people out there that are on the front lines fighting this virus every day. United we stand, right? We, we, will, we will beat this and we will save the planet. But that's why I'm here. I want to lighten things up, talk about Star Wars, something that we all love. Uh, if you didn't watch my previous two videos, go back and watch those. Uh, my brother basically gifted me this set. It's a build your own X-Wing set. He's actually building the Millennium Falcon. So he's got a much bigger job than I do. Uh, receive boxes periodically in the mail. They come with a bunch of parts inside and uh, a magazine, like a magazine build, right? We'll talk about those. And I've just been filming myself as we go, right? And it's not the typical like table shot you know, over sh overhead shot and you watch me build and fast forward, right? We're not doing that. Uh, but I'm just doing some highlights, right? Just some highlights and, and just showing you kind of like, you know, what, what's involved and uh, the scale of it all because this thing is massive. So, so massive. And it lights up. It lights up. It lights up in more than one spot. So, uh, and we get to show you some of the lights today. So we're going to cut over to that footage and I'll just walk you through it really fast and uh, we'll get going. All right, so the day two build, um, and just a reminder, every little um, package comes with the magazine instructions and then a plastic bag. And you can kind of see there's only, you know, four or five parts that come each time, well, except for that month. And, you know, you're just getting a few basic instructions, snapping it all together. So here's the remnant of my wing from last month. And this is what I have to do, just kind of showing you the scale of it. And then you can see the instructions underneath there. Uh, this is the size of it. So again, you're looking at six parts, right? Six pieces that come with every issue. And you're just kind of snapping a few together. And then it just goes right back in a box and you wait till the next time. So this is just the engine housing. And that little piece on the right, I actually put it together wrong. Um, I actually put it together upside down. And... It was one of those really sad moments where I had to take it all apart. This is probably the most tiny, intricate pieces I've ever had to put on something. They all have to go on that uh, silver tube where all those holes are. Then I line everything up with tweezers and snap them all into place. So all that detailing I had to put on. Why couldn't they have just molded it so the detailing was already on there? It made me put it all on there. It was a, felt like I was building a model car frustrated that I had to put the engine together. I just know that this is all going to be somewhere locked up and I'm never going to see it. Like this, this little propeller blade, it's all locked up inside the housing and you don't even get to see it. It's beautiful. I mean, they, they tell you in the instructions what all these parts are and what they do. They give names to everything, which is cool, but yeah, it all just gets hidden away inside the X-Wing. Um, but you know it's there, right? I know it's there, so I guess that's fun. More stuff, uh, more engine work. I'm only really working on one wing, one engine side, uh, really. So, and I just cut all these open with scissors, spill everything out onto the table, and then just trudge through every single issue and try to figure out, you know, where all of this goes. And I'm only up to like, what, issue 16, 17, something like that. And I know 
uh, this goes into the 50s, so at least. So I'm going to be doing this for, oh my goodness, a long time, right? So it's going to be a slow build, but it's a lot of fun. Here's the size of just, you know, some of the little parts that have to go onto the side of this and comparing it once again, those are my keys and a quarter. So you can just get the scale of how big this is, but you can see some of the engine pieces going together. Here's the LED for the engine light and I'll actually turn the camera on and kind of spin it around so you can see. That didn't bleed through, which is nice. Didn't have to take all that apart again because that wasn't fun to put together. So that's what the completed engine looks like, but it'll also go into a housing. So a lot of that will get covered up if you're familiar with what uh, an X-Wing looks like. It'll get attached right there and then um, have part of it covered with some casing. So this is most of the unit right before I stick the engine on the front. And you can see all the LED leads sticking off the edges. Again, here's the scale scope of how big the wing is compared to a toy. The, the wing is as big as the toy. Like this is how big it's gonna be. It's crazy, right? Absolutely crazy, but still haven't stuck the gun on yet. Uh, they're probably gonna wait for that. So this is the little piece that broke off. So this little piece broke off. I had to glue it back on. I haven't had to glue much, but I did have to glue that because I snapped it off. It was, of course, by accident, but it was my fault because I put it on wrong. It had to go right there in the front. See that? See where it is in the front? Yeah, and it wasn't lining up because I had it on incorrectly. So it had to break off in order to fix it. So now this is where I'm at. This is what I have left. Still haven't put the gun on, but I'm looking forward to it. All right, that was my build so far. And I think the scary thing is um, I have one wing, <laughs> right? And you know the shape of the X-Wing. There are four, there are four. So I have to do this three more times. And I'm not even done with the first wing. I don't even know what they're gonna do at this point. Are they just gonna send me the parts for the other wings and then just go, you already got the directions. You know what to do. <laughs> or are they gonna send me directions again that are identical to each, because they're all the wings are the same, really. All the wings are the same. So that'll be interesting and a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Also, I'm actually doing a vintage B-wing restoration right now as well. I got a B-wing the other day and never owned a B-wing before, never even seen one before. Was happy to get it in the mail. Uh, it didn't have all of its decals. It had a lot, but it didn't have all of them. So I've ordered some uh, reproduction stickers just to kind of complete it and to flesh it out. But I'll be walking you through some of those pictures as well. Excited about that. Thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.